Hi, I'm Chris Chase, Project Director for the Western Flyer Foundation. And in this video, we'll be lifting the house up off the deck of the Western Flyer and putting it down next to her. This will allow us to break the crew of shipwrights into two different groups. One group of shipwrights will focus their energy on the restoration of a hull, planking, framing, stern work, brake beam, and keel repairs. Simultaneously, a second group of shipwrights will be working on the house, paint and varnish work, rebuilding the flying bridge, and minor repairs with the goal of ultimately lifting the house back onto the flyer in about six to eight months. We always knew at some point in the restoration, we would need to lift the house off the deck, providing better access to the decking and deck beams below. To cut the house off the western flyer, we would need to expose the carriage bolts and tie rod bolts holding the house down to the deck beams. To do this, the lower six inches of the exterior tongue and groove would need to be removed. Once exposed, these bolts would either need to be pulled out or cut, allowing the house to be lifted off. The interior bulkheads and interior furniture would also need to be freed of the deck to allow the house to be lifted off. While the house was being prepared for lifting, a form or a sub-deck would need to be built next to the Western Flyer to accept the house. Built out of 2x12s and 2x6s and skinned with half inch plywood would serve as the platform to rest the house on once it was removed from the deck. Patterns of both the elevation and plan view, including the camber, would need to be made to create this form. The house weighs a shocking 5 tons. That's 10,000 pounds. So a specially designed and engineered carriage would need to be fabricated, lifted up onto the house, strapped securely to the house, allowing the house to be lifted off safely and securely with zero damage to the old structure. Once this was in place, the house could be safely lifted off and lowered to the ground, placed onto the form that was built next to the Western Flyer, and the maintenance and repair could begin. Once the house was removed, the water tanks that were originally put in in 1937 could be removed, and any dirt and grime from its multiple sinkings could be cleaned. There was so much planning and engineering that the actual lift only took 45 minutes. I've definitely had second thoughts a few times over the last few weeks about pulling the house off the deck. But I sure am glad we did it. It's going to make working on the deck and the deck beams a lot easier. And having the second crew working on the house simultaneously is going to be fantastic. 
I'll be posting new videos every few weeks. So if you're enjoying the videos, make sure you subscribe. Thanks again.